after studying this module you shall be able to understand the potentiometric method for determination of stability constants learn about direct potentiometric measurements by using an ion selective electrode for metals as well as for ligands formulate the equations for the calculation of average ligand number and stability constants evaluate the average ligand number and stability constants potentiometrically in the complexometric titrations let us begin with what potentiometric method is all about potentiometric methods can be used to determine the composition of the complex and the stability constants in cases where the activity of the free metal and also of the free ligand can be directly determined using electrodes specific for the metal ion or ligand respectively potentiometric methods are convenient and less time consuming and thus are advantageous if the specific electrodes are available let us discuss about direct potentiometric methods let us discuss about the measurement of free metal ion concentrations a series of solutions is prepared in which the total concentration of the metal ion is constant and the ligand concentration is gradually increased a constant ionic strength is ensured by adding a large concentration of an inert electrolyte to each of the solutions the concentration of the uncomplexed metal ion is then measured by the direct potentiometric method and the stability constants can be calculated from the related free metal ion and free ligand concentration data if only one complex species is formed in the solution with a composition of mln that is metal ions plus n ligand combined to give us the complex with the formula mln the overall complex formation constant can be then calculated by using the following equations where m stands for the free metal ion concentration cl stands for the total ligand concentration and cm stands for the total metal concentration in solution the concentration of the metal ligand complex which is formed is going to be equal to the total metal ion concentration minus the concentration of the free metal ion while the free ligand concentration is going to be equal to the total ligand concentration minus n times the metal ligand complex concentration in other words we can simply express the overall formation constant as beta n as shown in the equation if we take log on both the sides and rearrange the equation we get the following result plotting the left side of the equation that is log of mln concentration divided by the concentration of the free metal ion against the log l concentration both values being obtained from the experimental data gives a straight line with an intercept of log beta n and the slope equal to n to obtain accurate results in preparing the solutions care should be taken that the free metal ion concentration and the concentration of the metal ligand complex are of similar magnitude the total concentration of the metal in solution whether it is complexed or uncomplexed is given by the equation cm which stands for the total metal concentration is equal to the free metal concentration plus metal present as the complex ml metal present as the complex ml2 and so on using the expression for stability constants the equations can then be rewritten in this form dividing the equation by the free metal concentration we get cm by m on the left side of the equation which is equal to 1 plus beta 1 l plus beta 2 l square and so on where beta 1 and beta 2 refer to the overall formation constants of the complexes in other words we can say cm by m is equal to a function designated as aml this function aml 
is the ratio of the total metal ion concentration to the free metal ion concentration and represents the extent of the main complexation reaction. If the potential of a reversible Mz plus M electrode is measured in a solution of concentration Cm in the absence and then in the presence of the complexing agent, the value of AML can be calculated directly from the difference between the two electrode potentials. In the first case, when no complexing agent is present, the free metal ion concentration is equivalent to the total metal ion concentration. Whereas, in the second case, when the complexing agent is present, then the free metal ion concentration corresponds to Cm divided by AML. The electrode potentials in the two situations can be expressed as E1 and E2. The following equations give us the electrode potentials in the two situations. The difference between the electrode potentials E1 minus E2 is equal to delta E, which is equivalent to or directly proportional to log of AM. From the values of delta E, AML can be calculated. From the values of AML, the values of the free metal ion concentration can be calculated. From the value of the free metal ion concentration, the value of the concentration of the complex that is MLN and the value of the free ligand concentration that is L can be calculated. The beta values and the n values can then be obtained from a plot of log of MLN by M against log L. To study the complex equilibrium, we can use a graphical method as given by Leiden. We already know that AML minus 1 divided by L is equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 L and so on till beta n L to the power of n minus 1. Using the experimental values of free metal ion concentration and the free ligand concentration values, we calculate the fraction on the left hand side of the equation. On plotting the values obtained against the free ligand concentration, beta 1 can be easily determined. Beta 1 is the intercept of the initial part of the curve as shown in this figure. Rearranging the above equation, once we know the value of beta 1, we can easily obtain the value of beta 2 as given in this equation. Now, plotting the left hand side of the equation against the free ligand concentration, we can get beta 2 as the intercept of the curve. This procedure can then be used to obtain all beta values successively as shown in this figure. If the complex formation reaction involves only the formation of one complex species that is MLN, then the following equilibrium holds. M plus NL in equilibrium with MLN. Beta N is the stability constant for this equilibrium reaction. The overall complex formation constant that is beta N can then be calculated using this simple equation where beta N is equal to the concentration of the complex species MLN in solution divided by the concentration of the free metal ion and the concentration of the free ligands raised to the power of n. The concentration of the metal ligand complex is equal to the total concentration of the metal minus the free metal concentration. The free ligand concentration corresponds to the total ligand concentration minus n times the metal ligand concentration. Taking log on both sides, we get this resultant equation. Rearranging the equation, we get this new equation. The term on the left hand side represents the log of the metal ligand complex divided by the free metal concentration and the terms on the right hand side are n log free ligand concentration plus log of beta n, where beta represents the stability constant of the complex. In the potentiometric methods, it is important that an appropriate reversible electrode should be available. Ion selective membrane electrodes are suitable for this purpose. Alternatively, like in the case of copper, 
mercury, cadmium and zinc, metal electrodes of the first kind or amalgam electrodes can be used for direct measurement of the metal ions. A calomel electrode may be used as a reference electrode. According to the Nernst equation, the potential difference between the two electrodes when zero current is passed is proportional to the logarithm of the activity of the metal ions. Care should be taken that the determination is not disturbed by any side reaction taking place in addition to the main complex formation reaction under consideration. Let us now discuss how we can determine the free ligand concentration. In this method, a series of solutions is prepared in which the total concentration of the central metal ion is the same, but the concentration of the ligand is varied. The concentration of the free ligand can then be determined potentiometrically in each solution by using an ion specific electrode relevant to the solution. The average ligand number can then be determined using the free ligand concentration as depicted in this equation. Here n bar is the average ligand number which is equal to the total concentration of the ligand minus the free ligand concentration divided by the total concentration of the metal. The overall stability constant can be determined from the calculated values of n bar and L. We already know that the total concentration of the metal is equivalent to the metal in the free form plus the metal complexed as ML plus the metal complexed as ML2 and so on. We can depict it as a summation as shown in the equation. Similarly, the total ligand concentration can be written as equivalent to the free ligand concentration plus the ligand present in the form of ML plus 2 times the ligand present in the form of ML2 and so on. We can write this in the form of a summation as shown in the equation. Substituting these values in the previous equation, we can write n bar in terms of these summations as shown in the equation. The equation represents a relationship between the overall stability constants and the free ligand concentration and the average ligand number. It can be seen that n bar depends only on the concentration of the free ligand and is independent of the metal ion concentration. But this above equation is true only for the formation of a mononuclear complex. To summarize, we can say that the potentiometric methods are applicable to determine the composition of a complex and the stability constant if the activity of the free metal ion and the free ligand can be determined directly. A series of solutions is prepared in which the total concentration of the metal ion is a constant and the ligand concentration gradually increases. When the concentration of the free metal ion is measured directly, the overall complex formation constant and the average ligand number can be calculated by using the following equations where the concentration of MLN is equal to the total concentration of the metal minus the free metal ion concentration. The concentration of the free ligand is equal to the total concentration of the ligand minus n times the concentration of the metal ligand complex in the form of MLN. Taking logarithms on both the sides, we get this resultant equation. Plotting a graph between log of MLN by M against log of L gives a straight line with an intercept of log beta n and a slope of n. When the concentration of the free ligand is measured directly, the average ligand number can be determined using the free ligand concentration as shown in the equation. The overall stability constants can be determined from the calculated values of n bar and L using the equation for n bar.